Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. On this video, we are going to be dialing access one on the Javelin to make sure it is sitting parallel with our rails. So first thing to do, have your system on and everything. Um, X axis, you want at zero and make sure C, uh, access one is at zero. And your C access, we are dialing on table one, tank one right now. So our C axis is at 180. If you are gonna dial off of the table two side, then it will be at zero. So we're gonna hop up on the machine here and start pulling our bellow covers back. So we'll just loosen up our thumb screws a little bit. If they are sticking pretty hard, you can just pull this white plate out, set that to the side. We'll take out our thumb screws and slide our bellow cover all the way back. Okay, so here we have everything all set up here. We removed the bellow covers on both rails here. We took our blade off and we lowered our Z height down so that we can get a straight on, a fairly straight on angle of the dial indicator pushing on the rail. We have our dial set up here. We, when you set your dial, you wanna make sure on this flat spot on the rail, so I'm, we're on the opposite side, but right here is a flat lip here. You wanna be on the top side of that lip. So just so it's on that flat area, not in the ball bearing area here, but just below that on that flat area. You wanna be on the top side. And then once you have that, we're gonna zero out our dial indicator. And we're gonna take a note, we're on number four here on our small dial indicate on our small dial. So we're at zero and four. We're gonna drive our y-axis down and see how far out it is. As we're driving down, we just wanna watch that dial indicator to make sure that that dial does not fall off of that flat edge there. We're gonna drive all the way to our end until it stops. And we're still on our flat lip here. Our small dial's still on the four. And we are at about six thousandths negative here. So we are gonna go half the distance back. So I'm just gonna switch my pendant to zero, act, enable my access one by hitting that squiggly line and the F1 button. And I'm slowly gonna just turn that dial till we get to about three thou there. Once you have that set, we're gonna go back to our Y axis and we're gonna run down to our other end and zero out our dial indicator again, and check to see what we got. And zero out our big dial again. We're still on four on our little dial. And now we'll run our Y axis back down So we are at about four thou yet. So we're gonna enable our access one again. Turn our, our small knob to zero, hit our squiggly line and F1.
go half our distance and we'll bring it back again. Zero out our dial again and we will come back. And right there, we are at one thou, which is tolerance on here. Um, so if you're within a plus or minus one thou, that's one line on the dial indicator, that is uh, acceptable. And now we'll go to our screen and capture the reference on that. Okay, now that we're back at our screen, we are going to make sure we enable. Uh, we are on setup and access homing. And then we are going to just capture our one number one access here. So we'll hit capture. You will say yes, and it does tell you you need to cycle power for this to take effect. So now we will shut down. And we will cycle power for one minute on our um, to our machine. So we will shut the disconnect off at our incoming power to the machine. Okay, once you cycle power for your minute, we'll power back up, open up at the uh, Javelin program, make sure you log in, and then you need to enable your, or verify your number one access or any access that you're referencing. So we'll just check mark that, and it will say okay, and now, your access should be zeroed out. You may see that it might move a little bit. You can move your number one access to zero and double check um, your dial indicator to make sure zero is zero again. As always, if you have any questions, you can give us a call and, uh, on our customer service line and we'll be glad to help. Thank you.